Hello folks, back in 2024 with a thumbs up. My name is Evan Nerson. My name is Eleven. You're watching the Evan Nerson Blue Guys Talk Show only on YouTube and on Facebook. Why don't you like the Evan Nerson Blue Guys Productions? One of the finest media companies all around the world, Blue Guys Music. It's the right folks. It's the right people. Uh, stay tuned for the interviews. Come up at a festival near you. See you in 2024. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye folks, bye folks, enjoy the interviews. Hello folks, oh, you don't want to fall here though, uh, I must be a source, background, but my name is Evan Derrickson, from the Evan Derrickson Burgos Talk Show, which is brought to you by the Evan Derrickson Burgos Productions, one of the finest main companies all around the world, and we're all the guys and roots, country music. And here, as well as Gospel Music, I'm here at the Balaka Bluegrass Festival at the Root Hebrews Boys Ranch, hosted by Evans Media Source in Palaka, Florida. And I'm here with the first appearance on the Marty Stewart Show's very own Leroy Troy from the Tennessee Mafia Jug Band, and has his own band today, Leroy Troy. Good to have you, Leroy. Good job, Evan. <laughs> Thank you. What's a good word about this amazing event at Evans Media Source and running the Palaka Book House Festival? I like it because I know I'm not going to fall down nowhere. Everything's flat. Uh, they've expanded on their thing here where they can hold more folks. Uh, they got plenty of Porty Johns, uh, a lot of food to eat, got some great coffee. They, yeah, ain't nobody going to go hungry here. No, it's a great place. I like it. Yes. And um, Leroy, um, what what part what part of the United States are you from? I am from uh, Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah. And um, what from being from Tennessee? How'd you get into old time and bluegrass music? Um, well, it's just a lot of it being played around where I grew up at. We have a lot of picking places like there's Dixie Motors car lot. They used to play on Friday nights. There's Hardison's Grocery Store up on Long Hollow Pike right out of Gillisville. They used to play up there every Tuesday night. And there's Robbie's Barn over in Gillisville. They used to play at on Friday nights. And there's a clothing store. And um, I don't know. It's just, uh, you know, them pickings and uh, my dad would take me to as a kid. That's where I met Lonesome Lester Armistead. He played in our jug band. Him and his brother Jack used to come to the pickings and I'd be so excited when Lester would show up, him and Jack, because Lester played the banjo and his brother played the guitar and they used to do a lot of fun songs that I used to like, like Bald Knob Arkansas, stuff like that. Yeah. Yes, sir. And what was your dad's name so everybody can know what your dad's name is? Wallace. Wallace. Wallace Boswell. He worked for 50 years. He was a manager at a place called Gardner's Auto Parts, known as the biggest little parts house in Dixie. It was located on Trinity Lane. Uh, Mr. Gardner had uh, been collecting old uh, parts, to, to Model T's and, and everything down through the uh, years. Uh, and anybody that had a cla classic car that needed a part, they always went to Gardner's Auto Parts. So, and that's where my dad worked for years, and that's where he met, he know a lot of entertainers like Hawkshaw Hawkins, uh, Curly Seckler, Benny Martin. I met, you know, uh, Benny and, and Curly through, uh, through my dad, yes, sir. among others. And, uh, and dad knew a guy named Hubert Gregory, and Hubert played the guitar with the uh, with a band that used to be on Grand Ole Opry years ago called the um, the Fruit Jar Drinkers. And anyhow, uh, Mr. Hubert um, got me and my folks backstage at the Opry one one night, and because uh, Hubert used to trade there at the Gardner's Auto Parts, that's how Dad knew him. Yes, sir. And, and I know you've been on the Marty Stewart show before. I have the been on the Marty show. I what have. was he like to you as a human being and as a musician yourself? And 
What was he like to you when you met him and be on the show? Well, I met Marty years ago when he was working with Johnny Cash. And uh, Marty used to come. He was working at that time, still playing some with Curly Seckler. And uh, they used to come to an to, um, uh, early morning TV show that I had started playing called the Carl Tipton uh, Show. And it was a half hour bluegrass program that come on there in Nashville on Channel 5. It come on like, what time did that come on? Like 5.30 in the morning. And I used to wake up and watch it. And uh, then after it went off, it was time to get ready for school. Oh yes, but, school's important though. Yeah, so anyhow, that's where I met Marty at. And I played a song, what song did I do? There was a song I'd done, and Marty played the uh, mandolin for me, or as I played the banjo. I forget what song that was. Maybe a little birdie or something, I can't remember. But that was my first meeting with Marty, and that was probably 80, I'm guessing 82 or three. And then you got to be on the Marty Stewart show in 20. Yeah, Marty, you, yeah, me and Marty's kept up through the years. He used to take little road trips and he would call, see if I wanted to go. We'd go down to West Tennessee or up to Kentucky. He'd visit folks. And, and uh, yeah, I, I was his little, uh, uh, yeah, little trips like that. I, I was his buddy on these little trips. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who's your members? Uh, change the subject a bit because you know, I'm short of my time. But um, who's your members in the group with you today as the leader of Troy in, in the Tennessee Mafia Jug Band? Oh, the uh, Jug Band? Well, let's see. We have Ernie Sykes, Sir Cecil Sykes on the Jug, uh, and he sings too. Uh, and we have Andy Todd on the bass fiddle, and we have. Uh, little Mikey Armistead on the guitar and on the fiddle we usually have um, uh, uh, Shad Cobb and I'm trying to think sometimes Aaron Till um, of course Dan Kelly was a fiddle player for the longest till he passed suddenly here about three years ago sorry for and, uh, that yeah. yeah and Lester we lost Lester, I think Lester passed away in 2014. We really miss him, but you know, we carry on. Oh, yes. Trying to think who else is in the band. I think that's about it. Thank you so much. Oh, oh sorry. we got um, uh, Spider Man that plays the, uh, the uh, Hawaiian guitar. Oh, wow. Uh, Mike Webb, yeah. Mike Webb? Yeah, but he only plays with us if we drive somewhere, he won't fly. And please, Mr. Cheryl Leroy Troy, a uh, venue near you. And thank you so much, Leroy. And Are we done? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. I'm Evan Nurse from the Evan Nurse Bros. Talk Show, brought to you by the Evan Nurse Bros. Productions. You folks take care. See you guys in the next interview. Thank you, Leroy Troy. All right. What well, a good word about from Leroy Troy. <laughs> oh, folks, my name is Little Evan. You see me on the Evan Nurse Bros. Talk Show. Subscribe to the YouTube channel of the Evan Nurse Bros. Talk Show. And also on the Facebook page of the Open Nurse Wise Talk Show. So I need to get on this doghouse base, son. In order, in order to get me out of this doghouse base, you need to subscribe to YouTube and follow on Facebook. Big M is not going to get me out of this doghouse base unless you follow me or, or follow the Open Nurse Wise Talk Show on Facebook and subscribe to YouTube. So on YouTube. Do. My folks, have a nice day. Subscribe and follow Evan Derrison of the Evan Derrison Talk Show on YouTube and on Facebook. My folks, bye 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 bye. My folks. <laughs>